Hey, good to see you again. So recently, I updated the Zoom software that I was using on my PC. And when I hosted a meeting using the Zoom software that I updated, I discovered a button beneath the screen there. It's called the More button. And when I clicked on the More button, I saw live stream to Facebook, live stream to Twitch, live stream to YouTube, and all that social media platform was also included there. And I was actually surprised because this is a welcome development. And I'm happy that Zoom have added this functionality to their platform. It means that you can actually live stream your Zoom meeting without having to connect Zoom to Vmis or connect Zoom to OBS, connect Zoom to Prism Live or connect Zoom to Restream or different uh, streaming platforms. So you can actually do all of this using the Zoom software itself. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can be able to live stream your Zoom meeting using the Zoom software. If this sounds interesting to you and you love videos like this, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't. And also turn on the notification bell so YouTube will notify you first whenever I upload videos like this on this channel. First thing you're going to do is to go ahead and open your web browser, whichever one you make use of. Okay, so I use Chrome here, for instance, and to open this. Now, once you're on your web browser, type in zoom.us, okay, zoom.us, and then hit the enter button. And you're going to get straight to this web page here. This is where we need to log in to our Zoom account. I'm just going to click on the sign in at the top there. So, click on sign in also, and then once you're here, Type in your login information for your Zoom account, gmail.com, all right? Then also the password. Okay. Click on sign in. Now, once you sign into your Zoom account, see the personal tab there, you have home profile meeting. Just scroll down till you see admin. Now, beneath the admin, you're going to see account management. Just look for account management. You're going to see user management, team chat management scroll down to you see account management now click on the account management and you see the account settings remember click on the account management you're going to see another drop down menu where you have the account settings not the account profile the account settings that's where you're going to click on now click on the account settings and this web page is going to open you need to turn on a button from the account settings that says allow live streaming of meetings and this will enable us to live stream our meetings to different social media platforms just scroll down and this is it right here on the screen it says allow live streaming of meetings now we see by the side of it there's a, a locks button here if you click on my profile here you see my zoom account is licensed which is why it's on locks but if your zoom account is not licensed it's going to be locked okay so you can just subscribe to the zoom one month plan for you to be able to unlock this now once you've already done that all you have to do is just to turn on this button that says allow live streaming of meetings Turn this button on and enable it. And once you've enabled this button, you're going to see Facebook, Workplace for Meta, YouTube, Twitch, and then the last one, which is custom live streaming services. Now, this custom live streaming service is what I'm going to make video on next and explain detailed guide of what it is and how you can also use it to connect Zoom to Restream. And one thing to note is Zoom will not allow you to multi-stream to all those platforms. You can only do one stream at a time, meaning you can stream to Facebook. If you need to stream to YouTube, you have to end the stream on Facebook for you to come back and reconnect the one for YouTube. So you can't stream to Facebook and YouTube all at the same time. The custom live streaming service, you'll be able to connect this to restream your restream account, your UVMOS account, and your different web or streaming applications account. And with that, you can be able to do a custom live streaming, which is what I'm going to explain detail guide on in my next video. But for this particular one, we're going to be working on the Facebook, the workplace from Meta, the YouTube, and the Twitch. Just turn on all this platform. The next thing you're going to do is to download the Zoom web application. You just type in Zoom download. Okay. Now download Zoom. Click on the button that says zoom.us. See the download one here. I'm also going to drop the link in the description box of this video to make it very easy for you. Now, if you get here, you see the Zoom desktop client. You see this 4 bit and the 32 bit. Now, if your system supports 64 bit, go ahead and download the one for 64 bit. But if your system supports 32 bit, only then go ahead and download the 32 bits so just go ahead and download this here because my support 64 bits and then let's give you some seconds for it to download go ahead and open your file explorer okay and you can see here the zoom installer full this is the software 
So either you right click on it, select run as administrator or open, whichever one you do is perfectly fine. Just click on open or run as administrator to install the software. Now, once you finish installing the Zoom software, go ahead and open it. This is going to open this one here. And this is how it's going to look like. Now, sign into your Zoom account, okay? At the end of this video, I'm going to answer all your questions, okay? And click on sign in. Let's sign in to our Zoom account. Now, once you're ready to sign into your Zoom account, start a new meeting. Just this one here, start a new meeting. It says connecting. I'm just going to give you some seconds for it to connect. And once it has successfully connected, you click on the drop down menu on the mic here to select the microphone that you want to make use of the list of microphone that is already plugged in on your system for the external and the internal or whichever one you want to make use of also on the video the drop down menu here on the video and select whichever of the video that you want to make use of now remember to click on the video settings at the bottom there click on the video settings and make sure it on on turn off this mirror my video button here most times it's usually on by default so you need to turn it off and you can use the hd tab there or touch up your appearance or adjust for no light in case your video quality is bad now the next thing you are going to do is to click on more and once you click on more you're going to see live on facebook live on workplace from meta live on youtube live on twitch now the only reason why you are able to see this is because we've enabled this feature from here which is allow live streaming of meetings now if you don't do this first you are not going to be able to see these buttons here if you follow through step by step and enable this here you'll be able to see this life on facebook life on workplace from meta life on youtube now remember what i said you can't stream to all the platform at the same time you can only do one at a time now let's start first with facebook click on the life on facebook one there and the next thing you're going to do is to log into your facebook account and i know by now you must be wondering can i be able to stream to my facebook page or is it just my facebook profile don't worry because i'm also going to show you how you can do that as well let's click on continue as paul and uh, okay and remember it's asking us if we want the live stream to be sent to public or just our friends on facebook remember to put it on public it's very very important once you've done that click on continue again and also choose what you allow now this one is very important because if you want uh, zoom by default to share the live stream to all the groups that you belong to on facebook you can also enable this okay just choose what you allow just turn on this feature so that it can share the live stream to you from you for you to all the groups so you don't have to manually do that once you've started your live stream click on continue and uh okay once you've done that i'm just going to give you some seconds for it to load and once it has loaded this is how it looks like you see so once i click on this go live here i'm automatically live and but now it's going to be on my timeline meaning it's going to be on my facebook account i'll click on this choose where to post your zoom meeting you see share on your own timeline click on that and you see share to your page and share to your group now if you want the live stream to be shared to your page you can select the share to your page button there but make sure that those pages are the ones you admin on any page you are not admin on you won't be able to see it as your list of other pages here that you can select okay now if you also want to share the live stream to a group click on this and you select the share to your group and all the groups that you admin of will also appear here as well same way all the pages that you admin of will also appear here so you can select that whichever way you want the stream to be shared on now i don't want the stream to be shared on my timeline i'm going to send it to a particular page i created okay so this is it here select that and once you're done remember to change the title of your meeting and put in the description and once you've already done this click on the go live button here okay and uh, just give you some seconds for it to load depending on how fast your internet is and the quality is also okay okay the quality of the live stream is extremely good really 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 good okay i'm just going to give it some seconds see it done redirecting to the facebook live and as you can see here we are live on facebook my zoom meeting is being live streamed on facebook and i say this meeting is being live streamed meaning the meeting is live okay so it means that the meeting is live and as you can see here it's live on this facebook page now you can't stream to youtube at the same time so you have to stop the one for the facebook before you can be able to live stream to youtube now click on more again to stop you to see the stop live stream button there click on the stop live stream button and click on the more again see other buttons who are going to appear for you can select the live on youtube uh can select the live on youtube sign into your gmail account and it's going to ask me to enable that and once you already sign into your gmail account i'm just going to cancel this 
we've already signed into your gmail account you're going to see all the list of youtube channels that you have under your account so i'm going to select my here but take here okay I'll take here give some seconds for you to connect and this is it now remember to change the title of your meeting once you've already done that on the privacy tab you can either make it public or private whichever one you want it to be on so i want it to be on unlisted because i don't want people to see it okay and once you've already selected that click on the go live here and you will be live on your youtube channel i'm really happy that zoom is finally adding this feature it's becoming independent on its own meaning it doesn't need you to start connecting it to vmix or obs for you to be able to stream your zoom meeting so from the zoom itself you can be able to do all of this and remember to hit that red subscribe button below because i'm going to show you how to use the custom live stream service okay to stream to multiple platform all at the same time and you can see the live stream here the quality is also good extremely good you can see up to 720p so the quality is really really nice as you can see right here on the screen and this is it if you want to stop it again go back click on the more button and you see the stop live stream okay and this is how to live stream your zoom meeting to facebook youtube twitch you see I have other platform here that like the twitch and the workplace for meta it's still the same process you use for the facebook the same process you use for the youtube is the same process you also use for the twitch and also the same process you use for the workplace for meta i'm just going to click on that as well and show you turn your company into a community and you can see here so business email or workplace email and just create your own um meta account workplace meta account and from here you can live stream to your own community just the same process easy peasy and your meeting will be live on all those platforms and remember what i said before you can't do multi-stream you can only stream to one platform at, at the time so you can't do a multi-stream meaning streaming to all the platform all at the same time you can only do one at a time and if you need to stream to other platform you need to disable the first one for you to be able to stream to the second one I'm also going to make that video to show you how to do the custom live streaming service to use it to stream to multiple platform and this is how to stream your zoom meeting let me know what your thoughts are on this and if you find the video helpful remember to give it a thumbs up and remember if you haven't subscribed also hit that subscribe button below to, and also turn on the notification bell so youtube will notify you first whenever videos like this are updated on the channel